Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with After the Last Airbender book 2 episode number 17 and 18. Okay, the previous two episodes, um, the first episode which I reacted to previous week, that is episode number uh, 15, it was the Tales of Ba Sing Se, uh, short little stories uh, which were related to the different characters that was shown. And it was a light, nice, like, you know, episode where we get to see what the each and every character is doing. And, you know, how like their stay in Ba Sing Se is going. Uh, like, you know, Aang was trying to find Appa, uh, Saka doing his own thing, and Iroh, uh, like, you know, helping others and mourning for his son. Toph and uh, Tara, they're doing their own thing and also Zuko going on a date. So these were all happening and um, that was being shown. It was a nice and a very, what can I say, you know, it was short little stories, but it, it was really, what can I say, the episode was really nice and we got to see what was happening in a short time. They did not like skip past the time, like, you know, they, they didn't do any time skip. They just showed us what were happening using one episode in a very concise and in a very nice way, which I really enjoyed. And the next episode, which was episode 16, was, I don't know, one of the most a very sad episode where we see how Appa has been struggling, you know, without Aang all this time and what he went through and all the dangers like it. And then he met a nice old man in the air temple. But unfortunately, that also didn't work out because he got caught by that, that guy. What was his name? Long, long something, long thing or something like that. I forgot his name. Uh, he got caught uh, by him. So yeah, Appa can't catch a break. And I really hope in these two episodes that I'm going to react, he finds his way back to Wang. I really hope that. So let's see what happens. So without further ado, let's get started. This is episode number 17 of Avatar The Last Airbender Book 2. I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference. And let's get started. All right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Hmm. One thing is, um, I think, favorable in this whole chaos that is happening, you know, trying to find Appa. Okay, let me take this out. Uh, one thing that is kind of favorable here is that at least we know that Appa is here. You know, like he, okay, we saw that he was even not even here in Ba Sing Se. He was in the Fire Nation. He was kind of roaming around. So, like good thing that she he's actually here and he's very close momo kind of tracked him down with the help of those uh, uh those, those cheetahs i think oh not cheetahs puma or something like that uh and yeah it's good that he's here we at least know that he's here and probably we'll find him out sooner or later also another thing is quite bo okay lake lao guy one thing that's bothering me is Suki and Azula's battle. Like, we don't know what's, what happened after that. What the? What's... Saka's... Painting? Are they so bored? <laughs> Momo's... Wow, that's a really... That's a really nice drawing. Um. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, that's sarcasm. <laughs> god, Toff and his blind jokes. 
Okay, it's good that Aang is, you know, like not depressed. He's. Yeah, we saw he. Oh, maybe they'll find the posters. What the? What the? They're scouting him or something? Oh, they really are. <laughs> yes, this is Iroh we're talking about. Oh no. <laughs> uh, assistant manager. My God. <laughs> Zuko. Wow. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know. I think he has... He's planning something. <laughs> yeah, he's going to find it. Here we go. So now he knows that I Ang is here. Yeah. Okay, will he find him out? I wonder what he'll do now. Like now there's no reason for him to go for Ang, you know? Damn, Dolph is catching that. Yeah, I don't think. Oh! No, I think they brainwashed her. Yeah. Blake Lau guy. Um. Ooh. Oh great, more rules. And how much time will it take? Three months? Oh! Damn, that's scary! <laughs> this lady! <laughs> My god, Ang. Yeah, who cares? <laughs> no, not like that. She literally broke the... Wait, who are these? Yeah. Oh, great. Ah, this guy. Hmm. Control of the Earth King. Okay, they are really controlled. Great. Or <laughs> Jasmine Dragon. Hmm. Come on, don't say it like that.
<laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa. Um that's <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh no. Who the? Oh my god, great. Oh! Yo! Oh my god, okay, I was not expecting this. Yo! <laughs> She straight up attacked him. Oh God. But he was brainwashed. Wait, what happened to him when he after he got captured? Okay. Okay. I don't think so. Oh. Okay. Maybe not the full truth. I also don't trust him, you know. Okay. Oh no! Me oh no! Is this might be a trap? I don't know. The, the maybe the guy is hypnotizing him. You know, they said that they're going to do this like from the inside or something, like quietly. I think this is like a setup. Ooh. I think this is a setup. I don't know. No, 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 this is a setup. This is a setup. <sighs> Jet has been hypnotized. That's why. Toph didn't realize that he's lying because he's not lying, he's been hypnotized. <laughs> Why don't you come with us? No. Oh. <laughs> oh god. I think they like, you know he's not lying as per se, but he's hypnotized. Okay. Oh wow. Ha. Okay. Yeah, yeah, he is hypnotized. Oh no. He is hypnotized. Oof. Yeah, exactly. Good soccer. There you go. Oh, give him a little smack on his head. I think it'll <laughs> give him a smack on his head. That'll work out.
What the who? Oh, it's a. Uh... It's Zuko, so. What's he, he even doing? Ooh. Whoa, what? Dummy? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Whack him in his head. <laughs> I know that won't work, but <laughs> what? Um, yeah. Okay, there you go. Wait, who's this? Ah. Uh. Oh. Yeah, there you go. He's remembering. Yeah. Okay, time to get in. Ah. <laughs> they tried to use Jet and it backfired. Ooh. Oh my God, poor Momo. Oh boy. Whoa, so many Judies. Yeah, this place is messed up. Hopefully. Oh, there you go. Yes. Oh, fine. Oh. Oh. Okay. Great. There's a trap. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. We'll see. We have an earth bending master, a water bending master, and an air bending. Yeah, what will these people do? Like, they don't even... I doubt they're trained enough. Woohoo! Damn! They're using Earthbending to find Toph. Huh! Yeah. Okay. He's <laughs> running away. There you go. That's what he's. Yeah, yeah, get him. Oh my god, this guy. We need to bring this guy down. Otherwise, nothing. Oh god.
Shut up. No more blackmailing. Shut up, you're lying. This guy is like pathological. Oh wow. Again hypnotizing him. Um, knock him out. Oh. Oh, I really see. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, is it worth it? Oh, nah, it won't work. Come on, just knock him out. I don't think that's kind of possible. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. Shut up. Come on, Ann. Yeah. Oh, no. Wait, what? And he's running away again. God. Oh, this guy is so annoying. What is... <sighs> what happened? Okay. What happened? He just got kind of... Wait, is it really... What? Wait, what? I thought he, he just got knocked out. Oh my god. Oh, so come on, Duff, show your what? What? Oh, there he is! Nice! Okay! Thank God, Zuko! Nice! There you go! You got what you deserve! Like, involving other people in your own... 
Like, this is the worst thing that this one guy could do. Just whack him out. Oh, yeah? Yeah, just, just whack him out into the water. God. <laughs> Shoot. Oh my god, thank god. Okay, where's Zuko? <laughs> ah, there he is. Oh? Yeah. Uh, no more blue spirit. Wow. Oh, thank God. Appa's back. And yeah, no need to get back to Basing Se anymore. Like, uh, like, unless and until the administration changes, this place is one of the worst places that. Yeah. Like, no need to involve and uh, get involved in any. Like, you know? Anything related to Basing Se. Just drop it. Enough. God, and they're going to like you know learn it the hard way. They they are going to learn it the hard way. They try to warn them. They they don't listen. They don't do anything. Instead, they just decided to keep Appa confined just to keep their fantastical um, uh, you know the fantastical peace alive and to maintain the status quo. Yeah, they're going to learn it the hard way. And the only bad thing you know that I feel about. Passing say is that the citizens and, and the, the other people like they're not at any fault here only because of uh, like you know the higher ups like you know their decisions these normal people are going to suffer in the future that's what's going to happen that's what I feel really bad about just because of a really what can I say rash and stupid decision made by this guy this I think his name is Fei Long or something no like not even the king because the king is also being controlled as far as i could understand like you know like just because of that all the other people are going to suffer that's what i feel really bad about like yeah but you know what um the Luke and i were in there so but i don't know like you know i don't think that will help and what are they even going to do when the fire nation attacks or something like anyways but yeah that's that's the only thing that i feel bad about the normal people they have done nothing wrong why should they suffer yeah okay so this episode here um we're still we were still continuing to you know for our find for appa and we get to see that Judy is back, but she, like, you know, it's like it's basically like there are a lot of Judys and they're being continuously brainwashed. And as soon as we see, like, you know, Judy kind of breaking down here, uh, the guy he starts using his thing again, his technique, and brainwashes her again. And that's how it happens, I guess. You know, like if someone messes up, well. You go to, you go to that place. Uh, what was the name of the place? Uh, the lake. Uh, God, Lao Lake Lao Lao Guy Lao Guy. Yeah, take them to Lake Lao Guy and brainwash them and bring them back again. So yeah, that's what's basically happening. It's a really weird and you know sick place, and the way that. You know does the stuff and I'm, i was kind of sure about it when jet came out like you know like that jet must have been brainwashed because Toph tried to see whether he's lying or not and he was not lying so yeah like the only thing that would uh that would match here like that would make sense here is if he himself believes that he's not lying so yeah he was brainwashed and And they were actually trying to use Jet to go make them go somewhere far away. Like, 
as soon as like you know jet said that yeah we got to know where he is he's over there in that place which is like far away from here yeah i knew it like this was like a thing that they were trying to do like a trick and thankfully you know katara had the the healing you know the uh power he used that to kind of you know, make that break out of that uh what do you call it that brainwashing he she did not directly use it to help jet she just i think she uh, uh what do you call it um, she used her powers to make him calm you know when he said that yeah I'm, I'm i'm unable to think about the past because it's very scary and very uh difficult i think what katara did was you know made that a little bit less burdening a little bit less painful for him and he himself tried to go back to his past and you know, the whole flashback came in and he realized that yeah i've been brainwashed and when you realize that you have been brainwashed the brainwash goes away so yeah he came to his senses after that and now zuko like i think i really like that like you know that like finally in this episode zuko was able to i don't know understand and not understand but was able to kind of accept that yeah like this is not my destiny this is something that they have been forcing on me and i'm just like you know using that as an excuse to do stuff which doesn't even matter anymore and like you know his his agitated heart this is the reason for it you know you remember the previous episode when uh i was trying to teach him lightning you know uh, lightning bending and he said that now nah, you are your inside is agitated you won't be able to do it this is the reason this is the main reason here he has still not gotten peace that's why he's so you know jumpy most of the time he's so you know like restless most of the time like he, he has not gotten that peace that peace that iroh was able to get and iroh really like you know like it like iroh went through so much and i think obviously like you know like uh, iroh gone went through a lot more things than zuko ever did you know like iroh lost his son and i think that's the biggest pain that someone could ever get i doubt that is any way comparable to the pain uh, zuko felt when his uh dad vanished him you know what like it's kind of not okay to actually compare those two if those two are like painful on their own right and those two are like completely different things so but still you know like iro gone through went through so many things like you know like he was also kind of betrayed by his own family in a way so you know like his son died he was kind of betrayed by his own family he has to run away now like a fugitive but still he is so what can i say uh, so calm peaceful and like you know such positivity in his heart so like we saw the previous episode the tales of basing say even within these kind of things are happening he still like you know goes uh, like you know helps people smiles like talk with them like, you know like, like such a great character and he, he has such a great insight you know his heart is so pure calm and clean like it's really refreshing to see him and you know like it, it was actually good that uh, i would decided to like this in this episode i decided that yeah like enough is enough i need to really knock some sense into zuko like otherwise he'll keep going in this direction i th- i think like i probably thought that zuko himself would realize given the time but nah he wasn't at all and as soon as he got the poster of like you know um uh, what was that apa apa's a missing poster he again flew into rage and decided to go and like you know i don't know what he was trying to do like he would have probably taken apa with him and kept him as a i don't know like some kind of a hostage or something i'm not sure what he was trying to do but probably something like that you know so like you know like i was like yeah enough is enough like the 
the, the people who actually helped you, Aang and his friends. Like, you're trying to, you know, like, cause harm to them. For what? For what reason? For the family who abandoned you? For them? You're trying to do this? Not, this is not because of you want to do it. This is not your own destiny. This is a destiny they pushed on, up, up upon you. So you're trying to uh, harm the people who saved you once because of a family who betrayed you. For them, you're doing this. That's the basic thing here. And like, you know, like, I think this is probably the first time I saw Iroh actually, like, you know, uh, raising his voice in that way. And it was good, you know, like, Zuko really needed that little, um, you know, the little thing, that little conversation he had. You know, like, when he says that, is it a destiny someone else had tried to force on you, or is it really you? Like, that whole thing, and, you know, like, yeah, that was good, like, it was, it was actually, like, I'm, I'm sure, like, you know, like, Iroh did this because he knew that if Zuko steps in this direction, he won't be able to come back anymore. He, there's no coming back. He waited, he waited for Zuko to actually realize it on his own, but nah, that was not happening at all. So, yeah, Iroh needed to step out for this, and Iroh decided to kind of give it to him, you know, that harsh uh, holding. And yeah, I'm sure Zuko, like, you know, not the full, like, you know, he's, I'm sure he's still not fully at peace, but I'm sure a bit of the burden has actually been removed. And hopefully if he goes, start, keeps going in this direction, I'm sure he himself will be able to be completely at peace like Iroh. And... Yeah, like I was a really good, great role model. A really nice guy. <clears throat> okay, that and then the guy, the main, the main bad guy, uh, Feng Long, I think that was his name. You know, we had a little fight with them. He kind of brainwashed uh, Jet, Jet, and you know, like Ang, and they started fighting, and he was able to break out of that for a second there. But I don't know what actually happened here. Like, he used earthbending to knock him out. And, like, I thought he was basically knocked out, you know? Like, but then, uh, you know, like, then they, like, Toph said that, no, he's not okay. And, like, it seemed as if he's dying or something. Like, what was that about? Like, I doubt that was like a lethal wound. Like he just got knocked out, didn't he? Or did something happen? What happened there even? There's no visible wound on him. Like, just a sec. Okay, just a sec. Okay, he uses earthbending and it hits him and he's knocked out. There's no blood, nothing. Like, was it like a blunt trauma that he got? Like maybe something is like broken inside. Like he got injured in his internal organs and something. Probably something like that because you know, Toph said something like he's not okay. And then you know the, the, the girl, she was crying. And then the, the other guy he aims his bow at something. Like, what was that about? I don't know. Kind of kept it uh, in a weird, like, you know, ended that in a weird way. We still don't know what happened with Jet after that, but yeah, hopefully we'll get to know in the future. <sighs> but yeah, they get out. They have another fight with the, the main guy. And Appa comes in and Wax the guy into the ocean. Yeah, that's what he deserved. Definitely. And he can keep playing his house, little house game, you know? He can keep playing house in his little fabricated, fantastical, you know, peaceful city. And, like, yeah, he can keep doing that, but he'll learn it the hard way that whatever he's doing is completely pure nonsense. And,. I'm guessing he's the type of guy who would probably run away at this situation. 
and when he sees that yeah like things are really bad he's probably going to bail out i don't know i really don't like him and yeah he never did anything which would probably make me change his mind about change my mind about him but yeah like i don't know we'll see And yeah, Appa's back, everything is okay, Zuko kind of, you know, was able to understand a little bit, he threw away his blue spirit persona, and yeah, let's see what happens in the next episode. So, that was episode number 17, so thank god that Appa is back, as I said, you know, like, like Aang will be at peace now, everyone will be at peace, so yeah, let's keep going. So this is episode number 18 of after the last airbender i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay so here's a countdown three two one hmm Oh. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Okay, let's take this off. Okay, the Earth King. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Momo. The Earth. The Earth King is a puppet. Yeah. <laughs> uh Yeah. <laughs> My god, tough. But the Earth King is not at control here. I don't know. Will it? <laughs> oh. Oh no, what the? Okay. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> no, there you go. Wow. Yo. Oh my god. Oh! Yo! <laughs> Damn. Aang's not... Hmm. 
Yes, let's go. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, run away. Won't work. Oh, oh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, what the? That's fine. <laughs> Look at that. And the water whip. Ooh. Oh, nice. Ha! Look at that. <laughs> okay, now what? Oh, here comes the big guns. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It makes sense. <laughs> Ooh. Wow, earthbending, you can use it in a lot of unique ways, you know? Oh, that hurt. Um, yeah. Nope, not here. Ha! <laughs> yeah. Yes. What happened? Whoa, what's happening to him? Is he like... Is he tired or something? Like what happened? Yeah. I wonder where... No! Sorry, you're not an earthbender, are you? <laughs> okay, is the king here? Who are these? That's the king? Oh, great. Yeah, move. Shit, up! Mm. <laughs> you know what? He's he's right. Yeah. <laughs> um. We don't. Okay. Whatever. Ha! Yeah. I knew that's going to happen. Come on. Break that. Wait. You can't break it. Oh, I thought they would be easily healed. I guess not. Oh boy, here we go again. Come on, King! Ha! Oh, there you go. <laughs> no. Oh. There you go. Good Bosco. Uh, I don't think you should directly say that because he won't believe it.
Oh yeah? Guys, full of... Oh, great! You know what would be good? If the Fire Nation actually invades now. That would be good. I really, yeah, yeah, that, that's probably going to... What? Ah! No, lift it. Hmm. Yeah, right. <laughs> the teeth. No, I don't think it does. But until then, you're in the prison or something like this, he's going to say. Oh, maybe not. I thought they were going to say something like that. What happened to Zuko? Oh, it's... Fever. Oh. Oh god. Ooh. Uh. <laughs> wow, he didn't even know that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Outside the wall, I guess. Oh, okay. Oh my god, I think uh, Longfang would probably sweep everything under the rug or something. I don't know, like, he's cunning enough to do that. There you go, I knew it. Come on, take him outside the wall or something. Yeah. Oh, great. What? Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> Damn, he's. Yeah, like obviously. Like, who would even want that? But still, like, it's the truth. He's getting nightmares. Wait, who? Wait, what? What's happening here? Oh, that's Iro and... Oh boy. Inner turmoil.
Oh, that's Azula. Oh, oh God. There you go. Nice. Look at that. Hopefully this actually makes him realize. Yeah, enough of your bullcrap. <laughs> yeah! From the Fire Nation? It's imported from the Fire Nation? Is this guy? Um, yeah, I think he should listen to the children. Very good. This is... Oh, wow. They're also... Great. Oh, no. They get... I thought... Wait, I thought they kind of signaled something. They're like... I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> Momo. Yes, we strike then. But, but they're not even ready for, you know, battle. Yeah. Whoa, who the hell is this? Oh no, is it like um, another one? What? Oh Okay. Wait, what? Oh yeah, they said something like... No, wait, what? Oh, it's from Suki. No, it's from uh, the, the guy, I forgot, sorry. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so that's what. Okay. Yeah, he needs to take a decision, you know, and okay. Yeah.
No, <laughs> kind of like a yeah. Oh. Oh. Wait, wait, this. Yeah, they're linked to like, the, what? Oh no, is this like some kind of another trick? Like the guru, that letter is legit, but. Oh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay, so Toph will be here. And Toph and Katai will be here together. Okay, so everything's legit. I thought they were kind of trick. Oh. Okay. Oh no. There we go. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, Suki's okay then? Wait, so what happened with Azula? <laughs> okay, so this Okay, Zuko is... What happened to Why are they not showing his face? Whoa! Oh! Yeah, but that was scary! <laughs> I was not expecting that! God! I don't know. I feel like there's still something going on. Um, this is a bit too happy, I think. There you go. I knew something is happening. I knew it. There you go. Something is happening. This guy, he... Oh no, she'll be captured now. I'm sure of it. Like, those people will be waiting for her. Those guys have been... Oh god. Okay. That, yep, there you go. This is what happens. This king does not have any power. You know what? That's Azula and his and the other girls. Come on. Yeah, I knew it. As soon as they gave that little sign you know like when they said that capture uh stay long those guys those guards as soon as they gave a little signal yeah i knew something was going on yeah this is what it is going on
Oh boy. So I wonder what's actually waiting for um, Saka and Ang. Like in the Chameleon Bay, I think they said. Like they're going to drop him over there. So hopefully Ang will be able to understand that something is wrong and he actually won't go as far as the uh, you know, air temple. You know, he'll realize something is wrong midway and come back to the passing side. Hopefully that happens. Like there's two more episodes left in this season. I'm guessing something will happen within these two episodes. Hmm. So the only thing that was legit here was the uh, the letter from the air temple. That was the only legit thing. Otherwise, uh, I'm guessing the the letter from the dad from the from Chameleon Bay. That was fabricated something and same with Toph's letter that was also fabricated so yeah that's what's happening like I really like you know I'm, like, at the beginning I thought like something was going on and then when they got he got captured I thought that okay maybe I'm like you know looking too much into this maybe everything is okay then as soon as we saw that they are actually splitting up i knew something was wrong like this is the same thing that they tried to do the long feng tried to do before uh during appa like you know, during what the time when they were trying to find appa you know they were trying to actually transport him away some far away place you know like the distance making a distance between them and yeah that's what they're doing now and so one thing Mm, so what's happening here actually I think that uh, the guy says in the end uh, the council of five and the military are loyal to the earth king but the Dai Li remains loyal to you okay long time so yeah so what's actually happening here is a lot of things are happening at the same time first of all the only legit thing is like uh, the guru's letter that's the only legit thing Mm, I'm guessing the letter to Saka and Katara, the intelligence report, is also fake. I'm not sure if it's fake or not. We'll see in the next episode. And obviously the letter to Toph was completely fabricated. That was a fake letter. And so I wonder, I wonder if the letter was actually sent to the Earth King by, uh, not Earth King, but to Long Feng, by, the, mm, by those two guys, you know those two uh, people who are trying to get Toph back maybe they like you know they kind of fabricated the letter like making it seem as if it was a letter written by the mom and send it to Long Feng. Long Feng just kept it with him kept it with him and I'm not so sure about the intelligence report if that's true or not and another thing is happening which I don't think any one of them realizes not even the Earth King not <coughs> Ang and his crew, not even Long Feng, is that the the Earth Kingdom girls who came are not Earth Kingdom girls. They are actually Azula, Mai, and uh, what was the other girl's name? Li, I think, Something like that. I forgot her name. No, those those three girls. So that I think that's that thing no one knows about. They're going to get a great big surprise now, I guess. Uh, I'm not sure what their actually plan is Azula's plan is are they trying to keep low and do something or are they going to like blow their cover and start destroying everything or what I'm not sure of that but my bet is they're probably going to lay low for now yeah so let's see what happens okay so we we'll get to meet the king here, the Earth King, in this episode. He's a nice guy, but unfortunately, he was being played like a puppet. And this is what happens, you know, when you are really not at control. You give everything, all your you know, duties, responsibilities, you start relying on someone, you know, completely. Being in the position of a king, this is what happens. That guy takes control and uses you like a puppet. And if by any chance you try to get that power back from you, 
all the you know soldiers and everyone who were actually working under that guy long feng in this situation won't really be loyal to you anymore because their loyalty lies with long feng and this is what happens like so like like the dai li is like i'm guessing like the main uh you know what do you call it main strength here main uh military strength in this in this you know earth kingdom like they are pledging loyalty to long feng the king doesn't even like you know matter to them yeah this this was bound to happen oh god so yeah if you're in a position of a king <laughs> try not to rely on someone completely <laughs> you know try to do something on your own as well keep track on stuff on your own as well because that will help in the long run so yeah like there are kings who really doesn't even listen to their subjects at all like he does whatever the hell he thinks is correct that's wrong in itself and this is wrong in itself where the guy actually left everything to long feng you know like like he was like yeah i'm the king but you know what you're better at that at this than me so just do whatever the hell you want to like this is also wrong like keep a you know like balance everything with moderation is good nothing too much is good so boy but it's kind of too late in my opinion now hopefully hopefully like you know everything goes well and yeah no so the king got to know here what is happening uh <laughs> Saka kind of helped because you know he said that yeah you need you can ride the bison if you come with us <laughs> and yeah everything got out everyone knows what's happening the king knows what's happening that's the main thing and yeah now the king will help but you know the Dai Li won't help and long feng will try to gain power again capture the power for himself again so a problem on that will start and then there's another problem that's going on that's happening is zuko where he's struggling with his decision um the thing that iro said that you're going through a metamorphosis uh the decision that you made is kind of conflicted within you so he has still not been able to properly accept the thing that he did like it, it's kind of like he knows what Ayo says is correct he himself believes that but he's still not able to accept that so it's kind of making a contrast you know? like it's kind of you know like a source of friction against each other and that's probably making him feverish and it's kind of messing him up from the inside so yeah he needs to completely accept it and i wonder what that was about you know the ending where zuko kind of gets up and you know, goes to the mirror and sees ang in himself like i wonder what was that like some kind of symbolism or something i don't know maybe uh who knows but yeah So now obviously Aang will need to go to the Guru, you know, to know more about the Avatar state. But not now, in my opinion. I really hope that he actually realizes what's happening, comes back from mid-journey, you know. Maybe he'll realize what's happening when we get to the Chameleon Bay or what I'm not I can't remember what it was called, something like that. And probably hopefully he gets to know that realizes that something is wrong. Even Saka realizes it and they come back. And so because if if somehow ang actually goes towards the air temple like everything is okay over there nothing is any problem like ang wouldn't even know what was what's happening here so he would just go on his way he'll go to the air temple start his training it'll probably take some time and within that time like things will go completely wrong here so the thing here is he, he definitely needs to go to the air temple but not now now there's a bigger thing that he needs to do he needs to go back needs to realize that something is wrong so hopefully 
like you know it, what would have <laughs> I, mean, I kind of thinking weird things like I, i'm kind of thinking like it would have been really good you know if they actually had cell phones <laughs> you know like uh, like uh, like ang is going midway and like you know katara actually realizes that something is wrong katara sneaks out and switches on his her phone and calls ang and he's like you know ang something is wrong here come back and ang <laughs> and would come back like, it, would have been, it would have been really great if there was some kind of cell phone <laughs> i know that's kind of impossible because this is like a you know like a, a time when cell phone was not did not exist so <laughs> still you know i'm kind of saying that it would have been a real great convenience like you know like he <laughs> he dropped saka off at chameleon bay and ang starts on his journey to go to the air temple suddenly if his phone rings Saka's like, yo, Ang, something is wrong here. Come help me. <laughs> Ang comes back. So, yeah, that would have been good. <laughs> but, unfortunately, nothing like that can happen. So, yeah. Okay. And the main thing, obviously, is Appa's back. It's good. And yeah hopefully everything goes well after this but first we need to deal with azula yes and toff's kidnappers as well they're trying to kidnap toff uh, i'm not sure if toff will be able to do anything hopefully she's able to do something you know kind of i don't know like he, he's been captured like that yeah, toff is strong you know so oh, so hopefully she'll be able to break out of that Cage on her own. Yeah, and she'll probably go and want Katara or something. But I don't know. Let's wait for it. So yeah, that was it. A lot of things happened in this episode, and a lot of you know new developments. Azula's inside the Basing thing. Like it's funny. Like you know, like they tried to get inside Basing say Like it's like you know the whole battle with Basing say I did it. And everything and like azula even failed but they just snuck in with some disguises infiltration of basing say successful in a way yeah yeah so yeah that was it so that was my reaction to episode number um eight, uh what 17 and 18 of after the last airbender book 2 so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll definitely check them out so yeah so the next week the two final episodes of book two we're going to watch so uh yeah so see you guys then so thank you guys for watching again and i'll see you guys next week with the final two episodes of after the last airbenders book two so until then goodbye and have a nice day